there are three main mechanisms for capturing the police in Serbia. First is that actually executive power uh, manipulates the police and in that way secure impunity for the ruling political elite and its uh, principal allies. Uh, for example, police and prosecution keep on silent when the retired head of Serbia criminal police, which is basically the second person in the police hierarchy, revealed in an interview about the complex ties between the police, politicians and criminal groups. In particular, the head ex-head of criminal police spoke about uh, direct ties between a Serbian health minister with criminal gangs. Uh, the second uh, mechanism for uh, capturing the police in Serbia is basically that police departments that perform a PR function are basically used to promote the, the political power of the ruling elite. And this is very connected with the fight against organized crime and corruption in Serbia, which is full of populist rhetoric that combines elements of politicians' high promises to citizens and police actions of arresting hundreds of people in one in only one day without a clear record of accomplishment of investigation and uh, epilogues in courts. So in, in the end, the third uh, mechanism for capturing the police in Serbia is basically politicization of the human resource management in the police. So to conclude, uh, one of the basic problems in uh, Serbia is basically that uh, operational independence of the police doesn't exist. There is too much influence of the politics and the political elites on, uh, you know, on investigation. With actually, this is why actually we in Serbia, we don't uh, have court epilogues of uh, uh, high cases of corruption and organized crime.